Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, this is highly requested. I am going to curate my dream Pat McGrath Labs palette. I'm wearing the palette that I curated on my eyes. So if you want to see the process of me creating the palette, what it looks like, and of course me using my palette to create a look, then just keep watching. Guys, creating these palettes are both so fun and stressful. I originally started doing these videos because of my friend Hey It's Jacqueline here on YouTube. She has a whole running series creating her own palettes and collaborating with other creators. So I'm gonna link her channel down below because she's done Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury, Vizzy Art, all of those good stuff, as well as collaborating with some amazing creators. I actually collaborated with her to create our own Natasha Denona palette, so I will put that video down below for you guys as well. So thank you Jacqueline for getting the ball rolling for me to finally do these videos. The idea of it really stressed me out. It had been a video I'd wanted to do for a long time so she kind of gave me that push. So make sure you subscribe to her channel. She uploads great makeup reviews on luxury makeup as well as these fun palette videos. Jacqueline and Alicia from Kiki Sweat, they actually already did their own Pat McGrath palettes so I'll be sure to link those down below as well if you want to see some other Pat McGrath palettes. But let's get into my palette my journey. So I'm going to send you to this morning when I was deciding what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. So I just want to talk to you about what's in my head right now, what I'm planning because I haven't created the palette yet. The mess behind me is the mess I created so that I could lay all of my palettes out. But I'm going to be honest, this palette, I feel like it's not going to have as much of a color story because when it comes to Pat McGrath, I'm all about her shimmer glittery shades. So I'm about to put all of my favorite glittery shimmery shades in here because if it were up to me, I wish she would only come out with Mothership palettes of all of her Blitz Astral shades. Even though her matte formula is good and her shimmer formulas are good, I feel like I can get that in other palettes. For me, my dream pat palette is super glittery. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll see where the day goes and where it takes me, but that's what I'm thinking so far. So let's get to swatching. Before I get started with swatching, I just need to show you <laughs> what I'm working with right now. So let's get to a swatchy swatchy. So one black shadow that I actually knew I needed to have was just a matte black. She has multiple blacks in her line. In the first three motherships, there is a matte black. So I'm just gonna randomly <laughs> take a black. And the reason why I know I need to have a black in my palette is because with all of the glittery special shades, they transform over a matte black shadow. So this is gonna be one of the few, if not the only matte shadows I have in my palette because these are game changers for the Blitz Astral shades. So highly recommend. So if you have any of your Blitz Astral shades, try them over a black. It will change your life. All right, I'm gonna get to work and see what I can come up with now. Okay, so I've picked out my shades. As you can see, we had a swatch party. Now I need to like organize them in a cute fashion. I'm going to try and rework it so that we can actually show you how we're looking. guys I did it here's how I decided to organize my palette I'm sad because it's so beautiful and of course the camera never picks up how glittery and pretty the swatches were but I want to kind of give you my thought process so I definitely wanted to have a matte black because any of these glitter shades you can put it on top of the black and it's going to look incredible and then I decided for everyday more wearable looks I added a chocolate brown because you can pair that with 
any of the more neutral shades on top or even the pinks and it's going to look beautiful. So this is just a random black from one of our palettes. The chocolate brown is from this palette right here, the number two Sublime. And then I wanted to add a third matte, which is this naked blush color from the new Divine Rose 2 right here. And what I love about it is this is going to look really good with the pinky shades that I added, but it also is very pretty as a blush on the face. I also added from the Divine Rose 2 Extravaganza because it's just the most beautiful pink shimmery color. It's one of my favorites from her line, so I had to add it and I wanted to pair it right with Naked Blush. This pink color right here is from Bronze Seduction. It's this shade right here. Again, I just love a pink glittery shade. So I have two different tones. We have more cooler pink and then we have a more warm pink. I also wanted a very bright shimmery shade right here because this is your inner corner color or for a simple all over glittery look. I needed that. I got that one from Midnight Sun. So it's this color right here from Midnight Sun. I wanted to have the option to create an everyday kind of a bronzy look. So I did decide to go with this copper shade. This this one is from the number two Sublime. It's this shade right here. And I'm such a fan of olive, especially over black. This is one of my all time favorite shades from Pat. And this is from the number three Subversive. And it's this shade right here. Also, you'll notice I added a purpley duochrome shade because I had to have one purple shade at least. By the way, over the black, it's incredible. And that's also from the Subversive palette. And it's this shade right here. It's one of my favorite shades shifts from her. And then finally, I wanted an even more fun pop because these are all crazy colors, but you can actually make them quite wearable. They're very neutral toned. So I wanted something a little bit crazy. So I added this teal color and this is from the Nocturnal Nirvana palette, the Bliss Astral shade. And it's this blue one right here. So this one is for more of a fun pop of color. But for me, when I look at this palette, I just see wearability, obviously, if you're comfortable with glitter, because most of the glitter shades are relatively neutral, but you have the option to to create a nighttime kind of smoky eye or pops of color. I really, really love it. All right, so we're looking silly because we're working our way to the tutorial, but I wanted to show you the final palette. It took a little bit of convincing, but my boyfriend has created my dream Pat McGrath palette. Thank you. You're welcome. It took a lot of begging, guys. A lot of bagging. Here it is. Honestly, you guys, I really, really love it. I think it's a beautiful palette. It inspires me. I see a lot of different looks that I could do. And obviously, I created it, so I love it. I think I like it more than the Natasha Denona that I created. So I wanted to show you the look that I created. I did it in my typical Pat McGrath fashion, where it's pretty simple of a look because the textures, the dimension, the glitter, it speaks for itself. So let's zoom in. I'm going to show you how I got this look. So I have all already primed my eyelids with MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I decided to go in with Naked Blush which is this shade right here and it's actually the same spot in my palette and I'm going to use a MAC 224 brush and I'm going to apply this all over my crease as that transition color as you can see it peeks through the look and then it also is a complementary color to the blue I'm gonna blend that I'm also going to take this refer number 14 brush and this is going to be on my lower lash line as well. Taking a Luxie 229, I'm just going to go into a black. Pat McGrath has multiple palettes that have a black. It's always in the bottom left corner of her palettes. I added one as well. I find a black to be so essential because there's nothing that makes these glitters pop more than a black shadow. I wish I would have gone a little bit deeper with the black because I'm just blending it out to almost make it a charcoal color and just a haze of black as opposed to a really opaque black layer that I normally do. But I tried to make it a little bit more wearable <laughs> but I'm just blending this all the way into my inner corner which I don't really love that I did that because I felt like it closed up my eye but I do have to repeat it and we'll be back to black so as you can see this black does just kind of blend out really simple and then I'm going to take the brush that I used to apply that first peachy color just to blend it out make everything pop more I had to use the blue shade this is the bottom right color in my palette and this I put in the palette for a really fun pop and that's going on my outer half 
of my lid and I'm not using a wet base, sticky base or anything to apply it, just my finger and it's really gorgeous. It adds a really fun summer pop to the look and don't forget to take the brush to blend it out. If you get a little bit of fallout, that's okay. It just kind of wipes away and if you're planning to deal with glitter shadows, most of the time you just you gotta be prepared for the fallout. It's gonna happen. It is what it is. The price you pay for beautiful glitters. The next color that I went into was my pink glittery shade. This is from the Bronze Seduction palette, but it is the bottom row, the third shade. And I'm gonna apply that to the inner half of my eyelid. Again, just using my finger and pressing that in. Make sure you blend it into the blue. To brighten everything up from my Midnight Sun palette, I have this really shiny color. This is the third shade in the top row. It doesn't have a pigmented base. It really is just the pure Pat McGrath Blitz Astral Formula, as bright and white as it could get. This color for me was essential to add in this palette because you can put this with any color. It's gonna look amazing. You can put it over any color and it's gonna look amazing. And with any color in the crease, if you put that all over the lid, you're going to have the most amazing look. So I'm using my Refer number three brush and I'm also just gonna kind of carry it up here to brighten up my eye. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going into the Mothership three palette and I'm going into this blue purple shade. This is one of my absolute favorite shades from Pat McGrath. It's in the bottom row, the fourth shade and it has such a strong shift. I've already done a tutorial kind of featuring this color in particular. So I didn't want this to be the focal point of this video otherwise it would have been because it's like my favorite shade but I'm just wetting this old coastal scents brush that I have and I'm going to put this all along the lower lash line be careful this is going to get messy it's definitely a top five shade from Pat McGrath for me and then I have a lot of fallout so I'm going to try and brush that away and like I said it brushes away relatively easily. And then finally, just to kind of tie everything together, I'm going back into the black shade and I'm using an Isum T09 and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line a little bit just out there. And then I'm going to take that along the end of the upper lash line as well. This is going to add very subtle depth to the eye without having to go too crazy. For this look, I really wanted to play with a mix of different colors, kind of create a fun, colorful-ish look. This is like a subtly colorful palette if you ask me and for me it was all about the glitter so I'm going to finish the rest of my face, the rest of my eyes and I'll be back to show you the final look. Alright you guys here is the look with liner and lashes. I really love this look. I think it is so fun and perfect for summer. It plays with a lot of colors. I normally don't do a look like this when I play with my Pat McGrath palettes and I'm loving it so I definitely knew I wanted to create a palette that was all about the glitter and I am very happy with what I came up with. I feel like I can create a lot of different looks and it was just such a fun video to film as always. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know would you buy this palette? If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you guys would take the time to do so. Make sure you check out my Natasha Denona video to see the palette that I created with my Natasha Denona palettes and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.